Welcome to Smalltalk for You, a video tutorial series for various implementations of Smalltalk. The last time we looked at installing Squeak, today we're going to look at installing Faro. Faro and Squeak are cousins. They forked off a little while ago for reasons I'm not going to go into here. But downloading and installing it's about as easy as Squeak, maybe a little easier. In any case, let's get to it. You go over here, find the various releases here. We want 1.1 because we might as well install the latest. And you scroll down from there, you'll find a one-click image. And this is one-click for OS X, Linux, and Windows. So it's going to work pretty much the same on all three. And if I go down here to the bottom of my browser, you'd see that it's busy downloading it. Okay, so I've got that here. What I'm going to do is show this in the Finder. And again, this will work pretty much the same way whether you're working on Windows, Linux, or OS X. I created a Faro directory here on my hard drive, the same as I did with Squeak the other day. I'm going to take this file that I downloaded, and I'm going to drop it in there. Now that it's there, I'm going to get rid of this one here and open that up. And I'm just going to uncompress this by hitting open. It'll unarchive that for me. And now that it's there, I can just close this thing that popped up. Notice this is an application bundle already for the Mac. If I were on Windows, I'd see an XE. And it's ready to go. I'll just double click on it. And I'll get the same warning about having downloaded it from the internet. And there it is. There's Faro running on my desktop. Again, introduction here. Tells you where to go for more information and how to get started. So, that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with whatever small talk you're using.